All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Aspen. She kind of looks a bit like a demon right now. Hey, Beebuts, I'm back, and today we're gonna be checking out something different. A while back, I got an email from Yulu, and you might remember that they had sent me that hackathon game to try out, and they said that they now have fashion dolls. They asked me if I would like to check them out, and I was like, yes, because that piques my interest. A company that previously only dabbled in games and such, all of a sudden just deciding to branch off into fashion dolls, I definitely wanna see how that turns out. So that's what we have today. This is really cute. I've been waiting forever to open this, and now is the time. Got a cute little postcard. Oh, it actually is a postcard. I was just kidding. It says, welcome to the Snap Star world. Come on and meet the squad. We can't wait for you to snap style and share your creations. Love the Snap Star squad. Well, thank you. And it's time to open. That's too big to be in that direction. <laughs> It's actually a really, really nice box. Here we go. Oh, this is really cute. It looks like there are only six dolls in this collection. They might add some more down the line, but for now we have Dawn, Echo, Aspen, Lola, Yuki, and Izzy. And although we've been taught all our lives not to judge based on what we see, that's exactly what I'm doing, <laughs> because based on this artwork, it seems that they all have their own unique style and their own personality, which is kind of cute. You'll be able to read about whatever character you get if you ever pick one up. Now let's remove this and move on. First, we're gonna download the app to customize so it's Snapstar Studio and it's available on iPhone and Google Play. There's gonna be a green screen in here so that we can customize our dolls. Take before and after photos so we can change their background, their hair, their makeup, and their accessories. That's kind of cool. And then we can share whatever we create. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's everything in the box. Oh, dropping stuff. I'll set this up so we can check them out. Here are the three dolls that we got. We have Lola, Dawn, and Aspen. I was hoping for Izzy, but I guess I'll have to find her on my own. Now, luckily for us, when I was opening that big package they sent, it kind of already gave us the breakdown of all the characters and the little blurbs about them and showed us their artwork, so we don't need to focus on that too much. If you look on the back, it will show you that we get a green screen, the app that you're gonna need to download, and what you could do with it, all the stuff we already saw. What I won't skip, though, is that these are intended for ages five and up because there are small parts involved. Having said that, we can open them. They kind of open just like a cell phone box. Oh, they are cell phones. Look, it's a camera. It's like they are the picture. There's our stand and our green screen and our instructions. We'll do this part after. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Aspen. She kind of looks a bit like a demon right now <laughs> because of the color of her eyes. It kind of looks like they're reflecting this pink look like she's got pink eye. She does have very light makeup, light pink and light pink eyeshadow with very thick mascara. She's got a brat's look to her in the form of giant lips, which I'm not exactly a fan of, but everyone has their own preference. Her hair right now is kind of like suffering from box head. <laughs> it's like there's constantly this wind blowing at her. I'm gonna take off the wig carefully because I want to check it out before we continue with the doll itself. Oh, it's attached to her head. I can't get it off. What? What's happening? Oh, it's a plug. Okay, the wig is plugged into her head so it doesn't just come off when you're playing. That's kind of cool, actually. So there's a big old hole in her head. Here's our wig. We'll check this out on its own because hair is a big deal in the doll world. From the outside, it actually looks relatively full and shiny and pretty. If you lift it, that's where you'll see all the plain see-through bits where my fingers are visible underneath. We'll tip it upside down and check it out. Right in the center here is that plug that will help the wig stay on the doll's head, which I think is very clever if you're playing with your toy or styling her hair or just posing her in general. You don't want her wig falling off, so that's really clever. There are five rows of hair and the fifth one actually goes right around and then right down to the center and that's what gives us this look of a part in the top of her head. I wish there was a bit more rows of tracking here. That way it would be fuller so that if you choose to style your doll's hair in an updo for this fashion photo type app that they give us, you won't be able to see through it. Although her head is painted, so maybe you won't see it as much anyway. There is a little bit coming off, but usually when you open any doll that has actual real hair, there is some hair loss because it's been in the package or it's just extra bits that weren't glued in properly. So hopefully that stops pretty soon and we don't have repeated shedding. Just cut that piece off. Oop, there you go, problem solved. Overall, the texture of it, the feel of it, the mold of the actual wig cap itself is pretty decent. It's not super thin and rubbery like the LOL ones. Nothing is, you know, at risk right now of ripping, so that's good. I'm gonna put that back on her head. Whoop, <laughs> I missed. Push it in, you gotta give it a good firm push to click it. 
Going under here, you can actually see her hairline. They did paint it so it looks like she's got sideburns and such. And it goes above her ear, so that's why it doesn't actually completely cover down to here. It's actually a pretty decent quality hair though, so I'll leave that alone. She's pretty tall, it's kind of hard to show her off. Let's check out her outfit. It's actually really, really cute. She's got this faux suede jacket on with some fringes on the bottom. She looks like she's a country singer. Her suede jacket can come off. I'm trying to show off everything, it's not working out. This is a one piece outfit and I would totally wear this. It'll be easier to do this without her hair, so take that off. Down on the bottom here we have these light pink corally colored boots. They're easily removable. Let's take off her clothes. That's a really cute outfit. Just be careful though because my Velcro is actually not attached to the outfit, so I'm gonna have to sew that back up. Here we go, let's check out her articulation. She's about nine inches tall, it looks like. She's got movement at her ankle, her knee, and her legs are ball jointed right at the hip. But her hips themselves don't move, it's actually just here under her bust line. She's super squeaky right now. She bends at the shoulder, her elbow, and her wrist. And then her head does move around. Sit there. These are her boots, which we kind of already saw. They do have patterns imprinted on them so that they look like cowboy boots, which is really cute. We've checked out her outfit. And here is her bag. It doesn't open or anything, it's pretty solid. It matches the same color as her boots with some light pink flower details here and some fake fringing. She also comes with a cell phone. The stickers come off of mine. Oh, it's oily, why? That's weird. Okay, I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna have to fix that myself. It's pretty greasy. Ooh. Well, anyways, it's that same color as the purse and boots, and it's got a fake screen on it. Mine's just is kind of really, really sticky. And lastly, we have this really cute headband. It's covered in white flowers with yellow centers, and they kind of have little combs on the end and little spikes to attach it to the top of the head. Let's see how that sits. I'm gonna dress her back up so we can try out the green screen and the app. I'm gonna open up the stand now so that we can actually support our doll. And this is green so that it can blend into the background when we need to remove it, because that's how green screens work. Here we go. Now there's this little hokey part sticking out and this is gonna actually go into a hole that's at the back of our doll that can make her stand up. Takes a bit of work. Stab it in there. There we go. That didn't work out very well. That is again, round two. This is a bit finicky, guys. Now we'll try to set up the green screen and download the app. Okay, it took a bit of work, but I got my green screen up and ready and my doll is now on her stand. I think that is definitely in need of a bit of work because this little part here on the back actually messes up all the work that you just did in getting your doll ready for her photos. So it's actually pretty tricky to find the spot. It's not at the top of her neck. It's actually, I don't know if you can see it, it's down here at the bottom. So if you did any styling to your doll, all of a sudden that is very much over and ruined because it takes a good amount of frustrating pushing to get it in and to stay and then to style her. So, oh man, she looked so good at first. Oh, so good. Now we gotta do it all again. Look at her hair now, less pretty. Ah! Come on, Aspen, you gotta look ready. Now we gotta do this all again. There's your purse. I don't know what she's doing. She looks like she's sitting in midair. Let's make it look like she's holding her hair back. It's wispy. It's a windy day and her shorts are too high now. Good enough for me. If you're not familiar with a green screen, everything here is green, even the stand, because then when we take a picture of it and use the app to create different backgrounds, that can all be removed because it's one color that we don't ah, need. Time to get my app. Here we go. There's a whole rundown. If you click on how to, it will show you how to use it. If you go to squad, it will show you all about the girls. We're gonna go right to the photo studio. And all we have to do is now take a picture of our doll. Here she is. Now we're gonna click on this little lipstick down here and we can do a whole whack load of stuff to her. I accidentally clicked something and it told me I was a star and I unlocked an achievement. So I tried to get out of it and back out and all of a sudden I was achieving more things. See this? There you go. I accidentally clicked lips and stuff like that and it keeps telling me that I've added really ugly makeup <laughs> and that I'm a star. So I don't like this look at all. I'm going to erase it. All right, round two. Here is our doll. She's back to normal. And down here we have our options for things to click. She looks awful. What is happening right now? I'm a star. Yes, I'm a star. I'm a star. I know. Okay, she looks hideous right now, by the way. The lips don't cover her lips. Maybe we could drag it down or something? I don't think so. So I can change the color of her eye makeup and such. I don't know what's happening. Ah! No! What just happened? Seriously? I have to do that again? That should be a back button, not a start all over button. She's ready again. Now, she's suggesting for us to do different things down here. I'm gonna change her lip color. I like a darker lip, so let's see what happens. Nothing happened, what? Oh, there we go. Hmm, too weird. That's not too bad. Let's go with the eyes. 
a wing. If we make her eyeliner more dramatic, we could see it a bit better. That looks terrifying. Let's go with that. Purple, that's too dark. Ooh, that's really dark. I'll stick with purple. And now we can change her hair, I suppose. There's not very many options for hairstyles here though, so we'll add this wig to her. What? Who would do that? That looks terrible. I guess if you do a close-up when she's got a bald head, that would make a lot more sense. Hey, we can turn it into me. I should do that. Let's not have that. How do we delete that? Undo, 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 undo. <laughs> but we can give them glasses. Very large. Oh, we can shrink it. Oh, she's so cute now. Can't see her eyes. There we go. Oh, I like it. Okay, this is kind of cool. There's some things that need work in this app, but that's kind of neat. Okay, is that it? If I try to go back to get a background, is it gonna mess everything up? Let's see, I'll try to save that. That's terrible. No. What? Aw. All right, I guess we have to start with that green screen background if we wanna do that. Use even light and try to avoid hard shadows. And she's just standing on top of a chair. Why not? No face detected. Do you wanna retake the picture? Um, yes. I don't know if I could do all three dolls in this one video, guys. This is gonna take forever. Did you detect her face? They did. Sweet. Can we crop this though? Because there's an awful lot of extra stuff going on here. Settings, no. Ooh, you can erase everything else. Okay, so as we erase more, we can get rid of Jen's little bee butt up there. That's Handy. <gasps> no! Oh no, I just erased my doll. Oh, thank goodness. Do, do, do. There, now we can get her ready. Because right about now, this is a very long video. So what I'm gonna do is just skip ahead and open up Dawn and Lola. You don't really need to see the inside of the package and me taking it out. I'm literally just gonna open them, show you them, and then add them to the green screen because it's all the same stuff inside, minus the dolls and the accessories. Quick look at Lola. Her short hair on her scalp is painted pink, and there's the hole at the back for her hair plug. She is wearing a pink and blue sweater with stars on it. It's got some elastic straps there too. She's got some light blue shorts on, faux pockets, and some leg warmers because she's cold in her shorts with very high platformed sandals that are very pearly and white. So she is bending at all the same spots as the other doll and she can move her wrists and all that too. Her makeup is pretty nice. Her eyebrows are a dark purple, which I find funny considering her hair is so light even in her wig, but I think it's supposed to accent the purple there. She's got light blue Blue eyes, dark purple mascara and blue eyeshadow, very faint pink cheeks, and some light pink lips. That's basically it for her. Let's see how her Velcro is. Okay, that one opened pretty well and didn't rip. Aspen's ripped when I tried to open it. She's pretty articulated and able to bend and pose just like the other doll, which will make it easy to pose and use the app once I figure that out properly. <laughs> Here's her wig. It's got that plug in the center. This one is a three color wig, so it's got blue in the back, pink on the sides, and then purple. So the purple is actually only rooted right through the center. It is a see-through wig again, so I can't see my fingers on the underside, but it does look pretty full until you try to style her hair. And it helps that they actually paint the plastic underneath so that you don't see it as bad. Push that plug in all the way, and there we go. The only problem is it doesn't cover all the way to her actual head, so if you wanted to have her hair pulled back, you would see that. I wish it kind of had the option to push it down a little. That would be better. So we'll actually have to pull that down a bit. Do you see the problem there? But look at that. That's really pretty. There's not as much coming off of this one either, so that's good. They don't sit very well. She came with a white cell phone, and this one isn't all gummy and sticky. So I don't know what was happening with that one, but this one's pretty great. And she came with this really cute unicorn bag. It actually kind of looks like it would be a really good bracelet if you had a small enough wrist. <laughs> so she's pretty cute. Put her to the side and check out Dawn. I actually really do like her hair. All the curls stay pretty nice too. She's the only doll that we have today that came with earrings. They do all have spots in their ears for earrings, but nobody else actually came with them. So she's got two black earrings here. Her makeup is really pretty. She's got dark brown eyes, big thick brows. She has a black wing tip, a very thick black wing tip, and some thick mascara on, and a muted maroon color eyeshadow. I like that they gave her purple lipstick too. It makes everything kind of pop when everything else is so thick but subtle, like not dark blue eyeshadow or anything. The purple helps to make the look pop. Her outfit reminds me of a very fancy judge or a lawyer. She just needs one of those curly white wigs and a gavel. It's very hard feeling, but it is very shiny as if it's like silk. She rotates and has articulation in all the same places as the other dolls. And she has really nice shoes, actually. I would totally wear these in real life. They're a high heeled black boot with a big bow on the front. And then she's got the spot in her scalp for her wig, which is here with the plug inside. Now you can't see any of the tracks in here, but there are still five of them 
one, two, three, four, five, and the fifth one goes all the way and then straight down in order to give us the part through the top. There you go. She looks like she is all business. I'm gonna try on a different wig. See what she looks like. Take away some of her all business, no nonsense appearance and give her some cotton candy hair. All of a sudden she's not quite as credible as a professional. <laughs> I'm actually having a really hard time taking pictures of these dolls. A very kind message pops up to remind you to use good lighting and stuff like that, but I have very good lighting and it works sometimes but not other times. So you can see a big green space around this doll right now and I'll even try it again. It's very, very fiddle and you have a bar on the side so you can kind of go up and down but she kind of just disappears and from there it might actually look really good but hold on I'll take that picture up close you can see not so great Ooh, awesome when I adjusted the light to make it better half of her legs disappeared amazing I wish we could zoom in. I guess if you want a zoomed in picture, you have to start by zooming in. I'll zoom in for you. If she's not looking directly at the camera, they add the eye makeup over her hair. Can't see it if you do it in black, obviously, but you can see it in purple. And let's give her some Harry Potter glasses so she's styling. There you go. Saved it for you. That's so fun. Okay, guys, I have opened all three dolls up. I've given them the look over. I've checked their makeup, their hair, their outfits, and even the app. I'm going to go ahead and say that these dolls are actually pretty great if you are interested in them as dolls. If you like to swap them, customize them, do their hair, play with them, pose them, display them, they are fantastic. Their molds are great. Their wigs were pretty good. I really, really do like the plug that keeps the wig in place on the head though. That might actually be a feature that's normal for you guys if you are in the doll world, but I've never actually seen that in real life before, so it's great. I like their outfits. I feel like they're super fashionable, very nicely done, very good quality. We did have a minor mishap with the Velcro on Aspen's clothes, but to be honest, that could be an accident you might run into with any doll and it's an easy fix. I like the articulation in the dolls. They have a lot of flexibility, good poseability, which is really good if you are a doll collector that likes to pose and create scenes. I like the look of all the accessories that come with them too and for the most part they're all useful like they can sit on their hands and you don't have to add any elastic bands or anything so that's great when it comes to the paint and the makeup and the mold of the doll I didn't find any mishaps they all have different eyebrows different looks to their eyes good color choices for their skin tones and I really really do like the whole matte look of their makeup the only thing I don't actually like about these dolls is a personal preference and that's their lips I'm not a fan of the giant brats look but other people are so just ignore Jen. Now, if you were interested in picking these up to try out the green screen and the app and everything, then I would personally recommend that you wait a while, give them a chance to iron out all those bugs because right now there's a little bit too much going on and I wouldn't say that it's necessarily fun, more so frustrating. In my experience, almost every toy I've come across that requires the use of an app doesn't go so well until it's been out for a while so that they've had a chance to fix all the problems. And that's why I recommend you wait. If you know somebody who loves doll collecting and you think that this would be right up their Alley, then please share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this review yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below, do you have any of these dolls? And if you did, how did you like the app? And was this doll stand useful to you? Because all I want to do is not ever touch it again because it frustrates me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!